Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Joe with JSC Baseball Collector coming back at you with another video. Today we've got 2021 opening day. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bust into half of this box and then uh, do the second half in another video so that doesn't run on too long. Um, I believe these video, these uh, boxes have 36 packs in them if I'm not mistaken. So um, let me get into this. I'm having a little trouble opening it up. Yep, they have a bunch, a bunch of packs. There's seven cards a pack. So I'm gonna take out the first half of this stack. Last one down here hiding at the bottom. So we got the first half out and the second half still in there. And we're gonna get into the second half of that in a subsequent video over the weekend here. So let's do uh, this for now. Get my packs all set up and we'll get to rip it. So, you know, Thank you guys for tuning in. I, uh, I actually just finished up taping another video in which I had my 50 subscriber giveaway uh, winner. And uh, that was a lot of fun. I really, you know, congratulations uh, to Brett, who was the winner. He's one of the really nice guys on the LSU Maniac Facebook group. And, uh, you know, I just really, like I said on, the, on that video, I just really appreciate the support. I can't, I can't say it enough, so... Here is a look at these opening day. I know I've been kind of flying through them. It's very, it's pretty much just series one, um, but with a little opening day logo there, as you can see it. I think we have a little something coming up here. What is this? This is an opening day of the Philadelphia Phillies. It looks like it's an insert set. Very nice. Uh, there's Machado. There's Garrett Cole from my PC. And then there's a Belak. So yeah, opening day is a fun little set. You know, they don't carry a whole ton of value except for basically <laughs> that Luis Robert card from last year, which everyone was was chasing. I think it was pretty short printed and, you know, it ended up being, you know, like a $100 card or something silly like that. There's a Bobby Dahlbeck. Might as well just throw him in the background while we're at it. Um, you know, they have little, you know, little gimmicks like this. They got the, those opening day cards. They have these uh, mascot cards. So there's... What's this guy's name? Bernie Brewer. So shout out to Robert Trong over at Late Night Breaks. Um, there's an Aaron Nola. So I think the thing about Opening Day Two is it has some of the some of the Series Two cards in the set. Um, you know, so there are some that I definitely don't recognize, and I'm having trouble with that. There are definitely some I've watched some videos of this that I did not recognize from Series One. I've definitely seen a fair share of Series One, so. Um, I venture to guess that they are some of the Series 2 pictures that have snuck into the set. This is a Legends of Baseball Reggie Jackson. That's a pretty cool insert. Caprellian Gray, and there's a Luis Robert Cup. Very, very nice. But yeah, the nice thing about opening day, you know, it's definitely targeted towards kids. It's a kind of lower-end release. It's not as expensive as, you know, especially in today's hobby as some of the other stuff out there. You know, I think I used to be able to pick up a box for 30 40 bucks. Um, you know, a full hobby box like this. You know, this one ran me about 55 There's an Acuna. They're a little bit more expensive. Future Stars a gallon. Like, for example, I'm pretty sure this one, this gallon Future Stars, was not part of Series 1. We'll probably see him in Series 2. Here's an outstanding opening day of Yvonne Rodriguez. So a nice little insert there. And Santana. So... You know, it doesn't break the bank. I was able to get this, I think, on the top site. They were selling them for about 40 bucks, and after shipping and tax and everything, it was closer to 50 um, So I was able to get this for 55 It's not something you're going to want to pay a huge markup on. Um, but I was able to get it with free, sh free shipping, and so it came out to kind of, you know, barely barely above, um, you know, MSRP or whatever you want to call it. So there's a both Future Stars, Kane, there's the Twins, the, uh, the Twins mascot, Marte, there's a nice Alec bomb, very nice. See how he, you know, gets off, see if he can get off to a kind of a hot start this year or not. If he does, I expect his stuff will go crazy. Um, I haven't paid close enough attention to how he's done in his first few games. I'm actually, you know, even though it's uh, Friday probably right now when this video is being released, I'm filming it early in the week, so the season's still pretty young. Um, you know, by the time this video is out, we'll be, you know, over a week into the season and just... It's been a very nice start to the start to the baseball season. It's nice to see people back in the stands. Um, there's a Max Kepler, the blue foil. So these aren't numbered, but they kind of you know just have the opening day number there. And they're just a nice blue foil insert. Here's an opening day for the Rays insert card, uh, and that's Joey Gallo on the back. 
But yeah, my Yanks, you know, they started off not looking so hot against the Blue Jays. You know, Cole looks very, very good. Uh, Kluber looked surprisingly decent. I thought he would be a little rustier. Uh, there's an Evan White rookie. Uh, but he actually looked pretty decent. Uh, Jordan Montgomery pitched a great game. Uh, I think it was last night against the... And there's Legends of Baseball Roger Clemens last night against the Orioles. I believe, I believe Montgomery pitched last night. Yeah, because it was... Herman pitched against the Blue Jays. He did not look particularly sharp, in my opinion. But, you know, it all comes, it's all going to come down to the pitching with the Yankees. They obviously are going to hit, um, but they're also going to suffer from that old Yankee curse of being so many, you know, big power hitters. Uh, there's a Gavin Lux, Lux Future Stars. They're going to suffer from, there's Craig Biggio. Shout out to LSU Maniac. You know, the kind of, you know, not timely hitting, you know, big boomer bust hitters. Striking out a lot with men in scoring position, that kind of whole thing. So, yeah, that, that's been their bugaboo for years, and it bit them a little bit in that first series. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, you know, regardless, I'm just looking forward to a normal baseball season. There's a nice Mike Trout. We got an opening day of the St. Louis Cardinals, and there's Yadier Molina, who got, got into a bit of a beef with Castellanos, and he ended up suspended. Castellanos did. Um, you know, which I think a lot of people are quite... Uh, quite object to and we'll see if he wins his appeal oh and there's Bobby Dalbeck popping up the but yeah as I was saying I'm just really really happy to have a normal baseball season um you know crossing crossing my fingers that we don't run into any kind of weird stuff that we don't see any you know COVID craziness and things start getting shut down you know the way they had the Nationals basically not even play it, play their first four games so I'll have to make those up at some point you know, the whole first, I think it might have even been the first five games. I think it was a four-game set with the, uh, there's Dalton Varshow. Uh, very nice. Ken Griffey Jr., Legends of Baseball. Probably not a super, obviously not a super high-end card, but he's my man. So we're putting him back there. And then we got Aguilar and Grinky. So this is a fun little set, you know, if you're kind of a looking to collect with your kids or looking for something not super expensive for your kids to be able to open, just open some cards and have some fun with it, like, um, this is probably the way to go, or at least this is one of your options. Here's a Dustin May Future Stars. This is another one, like I said, this was definitely not in Series 1. Um, there's a Ian Anderson rookie card, very nice. That's a Dodgers opening day insert. That's a Bo Burrows, Morahan, and a Joey Votto. This one feels a little thick, but I think it's just, it's just myself. I'm just playing tricks on myself with that. Uh, definitely nothing thick in here. I don't know what the odds on these packs are. I could probably look on the back. Uh, there's a Keeper Ruiz rookie card. Chris Bryant, Verdugo. The Nationals, Bird. There's Dane Dunning, Perez, and Miguel Sano. Another one that is certainly not in series. But it almost looks like this would be a short pro, doesn't it? With he's running out of the dugout. He's sprinkling what appears to be dirt. I don't think there's sunflower seeds. It appears to be dirt. Um... Trying to see the number on the back there, can't get it to focus. Uh, but yeah, it's not it's not a short print, but it definitely looks like it could be. Let's take a look at the odds really quickly, just because we have a minute here. Um, here they are. You know, you have your opening day edition one and nine, um, opening day edition one of ones at eighteen thousand. You have your does that say autographs one in? 39,000 packs, basically 40,000 packs. Am I reading that correctly? That is pretty wild. You see that right there. Autograph, one in 39,900. <laughs> so I don't think that you're probably getting getting very much out of this set. If you do hit, hit one, that would be quite something. That's that's for sure. So that's a Goldschmidt. You got a Strasburg. You got a future stars of uh, Karinchak. Uh, there's a Legends of Baseball Mike Schmidt. I like these Legends of Baseball inserts, actually. They're pretty nice. Tavares. You got a Flavor Torres. And then you have a Jordan Alvarez second-year card. We got three packs to go in the first half of this box. And then, you know, like I said, we'll get into that second half sometime over the weekend. Uh, there's a nice Juan Soto. There's Randy Arroz Arena Future Stars, another one that didn't make the make Series 1. Oh, very nice. Ronald Acuna Jr. in the blue foil, opening day, uh, blue parallel. So that's a nice one. 
people will definitely love them. Some Ronald Acuna Jr. You know, it may just be an opening day. What is that, a fourth, third, fourth year Acuna now? Wow. Um, outstanding opening days of Billy Williams. That's a, yeah, fourth year Acuna now. Um, but it's still a very, very cool card, nonetheless. And then you got a Spencer Howard rookie. Two packs to go in this video. Do you think we're going to hit the auto? One in 39,900? I don't think so. There's a Ryan Mountcastle. Very, very nice. Throw him up in the showcase. I think he's going to be a little bit off screen, so we're going to slide everyone over. Get him in there. Akudia with his landscape is messing everybody up. Sorry, I'm very particular here. <laughs> there we go. Now everyone, now, now the family's all back together. There's Mrs. Met. Shout out to Professor Collector. Gonna figure out who he never had heard of Mrs. Met before. <laughs> uh, I told him that I think she's been around for a few years now. That it's not a uh, you know Mr. Potato Head situation where he's you know they're changing changing him into not a Mr. or Mrs. or whatever the hell's going on there. Um, so that, you know, we had a nice little laugh about that. There's a Jimenez rookie. Devers. A nice Greg Maddox, Legends of Baseball. Jorge Soler and a Casey Mize rookie card. So, not a bad little rip here. I mean, this was definitely fun. And then we still got the second half of the box left. So, you know, a handful of pretty, pretty nice cards here. Um, just to run through some of the nicer ones pretty quickly. We had a Dalton Varsho. We had a Mike Trout. You know, the, the Biggio. The Future Stars of Lux, the Clemens, Evan White, he had the Kepler and the Blue Foil. So that was two in the first half of the box. I'd expect probably two more in the second half. Um, he had a Bo Bichette Future Stars, the Yvonne Rodriguez, he had the, the Lou Bob Cup, nice Reggie Jackson. Then there was that Casey Mines you just saw, Maddox, Spencer Howard, Future Stars of a Rosarina, Mike Schmidt, Hebert Ruiz, he had the Ian Anderson rookie. The Future Stars of May. And then you had a couple of nice rookies here. Dahlbeck, Mountcastle, Bomb. Very, very nice. Then you had the Ken Griffey Jr., Legends of Baseball for the PC. And then this very, very nice, very cool uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Blue Parallel. Dive it into third or maybe second. Um, but a really, really cool card of Acuna right there. So... Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back at you in a couple of days with the second half of this box right here. Um, but as always, you know, please hit that subscribe button. We're getting really close to 100, uh, even though we just passed 50, just did the 50 sub giveaway. So thank you guys once again for participating in that. Um, so once we get to 100, we'll be, you know, do another little something for, for the community. Um, but yeah, hit that subscribe, like I said. Hit the thumbs up button if you like what you saw. And as always, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching my videos. Have a good night, y'all, and take care. Bye-bye.